It never ceases to amaze me that we continue to find ways to cook bacon. All right, so this one here I ordered in January, right after the holidays. Somebody, one of my viewers, sent me a link to this. And it's from Nostalgia, and I'll show you up close. But basically, it was on back order. It just came today. That's right. Well, it didn't come today. It came like two days ago. But we're filming it today because I can't wait. I haven't had bacon in so long. We're cooking bacon. Come on in close, and I'll show you what I got. So it's real simple. You just lay it over this device. It looks like a toaster. It weighs a lot, too. You set the crispiness, and then down here you eat when it's done. Well, it's pretty nice. Pretty bulky, though. Look how big this thing is. So it is the Bacon Express. Let's open it up. That's it. All right, so you lay it over this. I'm going to wash this real quick. Oh, it comes out. You can wash it. I wonder where the grease goes. How do I get the grease out? Yeah, hey, look at this. Grease comes right out here. There's the grease. There's the bacon. Okay, so my Vitamix blender, my crock pot, uh, my pressure cooker, never have long enough cords. They ha I have to move my products over to the side here instead of in the center of my island because the cord won't reach the plug that's down here on the island. That always bothers me. I don't know if you guys have that problem too. Most islands are made the same. The plug's always on the side, but they just don't give you a long enough cord. These door plates are magnetized. They come out, so you can wash those nice and easy too. And we'll try washing. We've washed everything the first time, but let's put this back in. Oops. Okay. There we go. Okay, this is not going in right. Hang on. There. Okay, well that wasn't fun. That was kind of awkward. Doesn't really tell you how to slip it back in, so you just gotta play with it. This thing's not. There, all right. Everything's in, plates are in. Now let's get started. Right here is the button. See how it turns blue? See how it's blue? Kind of purple, really. Anyway, that'll beep 10 times and shut off. So let's. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, let's close it up. I got turned up all the way now. I want crispy bacon, so I've got it all the way turned up. It's on, it's cooking, I'm waiting for it to beep 10 times and then the power shuts off. All right, I'm getting a little nervous. Oh, there it is. Like it's been like 13 minutes, forever. All right, let's take a look. This is the thickest setting, the extra crispy, crispy of all crispies. That's the way I like my bacon. You can cook it however you want. Let's take a look. And, well, oops. Stuck. Oh, the plate came undone. Great. The other door doesn't open now. Nice. Okay, well, this plate came undone. I'm just gonna leave that down there for right now. Let's take a look at the bacon. All right, so let me show you really quick what we're looking at here. The ends of this got burnt right there, right there. So that section and that section got overcooked. And the middle is undercooked, and the rest is where it needs to be. So it didn't cook evenly. That's that one. Let's try another one. Okay, that one cooked good. That burnt at the end there, burnt at the end there, and didn't cook. It doesn't cook evenly. Nope. This doesn't work, and this is still the winner of, on our show so far. Making bacon, you can get at Walmart for ten dollars. And this did perfect, a whole pound of bacon at one time, not six slices like some of them, or three slices or whatever. This didn't cook evenly, this isn't it. All right guys, so I'm sending that back to Amazon, I'll see you on the next episode. Let me know if there's something you want me to review. Take care, bye-bye.